Once upon a time, there lived an old man and an old woman. Each day, the old man went into the mountains to gather firewood. And the old woman went to the river every day to wash the clothes. One day, when the old woman was doing her washing at the river as usual, a peach came floating down the river. Oh my! What a yummy looking peach this is! Mm. This is delicious. I must get some of these to my husband. Hey, yummy peaches, come here. Bitter peaches, go away. After she said this, a giant peach came floating down the river. Oh my goodness, what an enormous peach! The delighted old woman picked up the peach and carried it back to her house. I'm finally home! I was waiting for you. Just hurry up and come inside. What's the matter, old woman? Today, when I was at the river and I was doing the washing, an enormous giant peach floated downstream, so I brought it home for you to eat. Well, well, thanks very much. As the two began to cut the peach... Oh! oh! A baby boy appeared. What in the world is this? What a cute little baby this is, oh! So the old man and the old woman decided to take care of the boy born from a peach and named him Peach Boy. When Peach Boy ate one bowl of rice, he grew much bigger. He ate two bowls of rice and grew twice as big. And with three bowls of rice, he grew three times as big. Soon he was a great big boy. And Peach Boy grew to be strong and smart, with a very kind heart. The old man and the old woman loved Peach Boy dearly and took excellent care of him. One day, when Peach Boy was splitting firewood, a kite came soaring overhead. Peach Boy, born from a peach, go over the mountains, through the valley, and across the sea to Demon Island and conquer the demons. Mm. Old man, old woman, now that I am big, I'm going to Demon Island. What? You must not do such a dangerous thing. I want to conquer the evil demons who steal our food and ruin our fields and rice paddies. No, no, no. You might be big, but you're still only a child. I give up. You may go to Demon Island. Just be sure you come home safe. I will, I will, I promise. So the old man and the old woman gave Peach Boy a new coat and pants, a sturdy pair of steel sandals, and a fabulous sword. Then the old woman made Japan's best millet dumplings and gave him some of those, too. Eat one of these and you will have the strength of a hundred men. Thank you so much, old woman. Old man, old woman, I'll be back. Peach Boy set off to conquer the demons on Demon Island. When he reached the outskirts of the village, a dog came up to him. Oh, Peach Boy, Peach Boy, Peach Boy, where are you going with such a fabulous sword? To Demon Island to conquer the demons! What's in the bag at your waist? The best millet dumplings in all of Japan. Eating one gives you the strength of a hundred men. Okay, give me one and I'll join you. Okay, great! Let's conquer the demons together! So the dog ate the millet dumpling and joined him on his way. When Peach Boy and the dog went deep into the mountains, a monkey approached them. Peach Boy, Peach Boy, where do you happen to be going with such marvelous sandals? To Demon Island to conquer the demons! Tell me what's in the bag at your waist. The best millet dumplings in Japan. Eating one gives you the strength of a hundred men. Give me 
anyone and I'll join you. Okay, great! Let's conquer the demons together! So the monkey ate the millet dumpling and joined them on their way. When Peach Boy, the dog and the monkey were going through the valley, a pheasant flew up to them. Peach Boy, Peach Boy, where are you going with such a fantastic flag? I'm very curious, won't you tell me? To Demon Island to conquer the demons! What's in the bag at your waist? The best millet dumplings in Japan! Eating one gives you the strength of a hundred men! Give me one and I will join you! Okay, great! Let's conquer the demons together! So the pheasant ate the millet dumpling and joined them on their way. Peach Boy and his group went over many mountains, through the valley, and set sail for Demon Island. I see it! Demon Island! Finally, Peach Boy and his group arrived. At the entrance to the island, there was a tall, wide gate. First, the pheasant flew over it to see what was inside. The demons are taking a nap right now. It's all quiet. Next, the monkey climbed over the gate to open the lock from inside. Then the dog pushed open the heavy gate. On guard, Peach Boy! The strongest boy in Japan is here to conquer you evil demons! <laughs> the startled demons woke up and attacked. Peach Boy defeated one demon after another. The demons were no match for the dog. The monkey and the pheasant who'd been fortified by the millet dumplings. Back in the fortress, the demon general was having a feast. It's terrible! It's terrible! Peach Boy and his gang are attack attacking us! Peach Boy? I am Peach Boy! I was born from a peach and I'm here to conquer you! <laughs> you think you can defeat me? The demon general brandished a great steel rod. But Peach Boy drew his sword. <laughs> what in the world? No! Spare my life, please! Do you swear to stop making people suffer? I swear I'll never do it again! You promise? Yes, I promise! Very well then, so I'll spare your life. The grateful demon gave all his treasure to Peach Boy. Peach Boy and his friends sailed back over the sea, through the valley, and over the mountains, back to their home. The old man and the old woman were delighted and welcomed Peach Boy home. He shared the demon's treasure with all the villagers and brought wonderful treats for the dog, the monkey, and the pheasant. From that day forward, the demons never bothered anyone again, and they all lived happily 